In this video, you will see a variety of DB2 features and tools developed by IBM to simplify your migration work when you move applications from other database vendors to IBM DB2. As part of this video, you will see how to use DB2's language compatibility features, including native PLSQL support, how to enable the compatibility features in DB2, how to run SQL Plus scripts in DB2's CLP Plus environment, how to use the IBM Data Movement tool to simplify the deployment of database objects and the movement of table data from an Oracle to a DB2 database, and finally, you will see how to use the editing and debugging capabilities of Optum Development Studio for PLSQL. In order to enable a DB2 instance for compatibility, you simply need to set one registry variable called DB2 Compatibility Vector. So let's look at some real life examples. Here's a definition of tables that have data types from another database vendor. Varkar2, number, date with time component, timestamp 6. Our DB2 instance, which is in compatibility mode, accepts these data types without any problems, and the tables are successfully created. Now, let's see how DB2 supports some relatively complex PLSQL packages. The source code contains PLSQL syntax definitions like variable assignment and create or replace packages, implicit cursors, explicit cursors along with attributes like is open, built-in packages such as util file or dbms output, reference cursors, associative arrays, anchor data types, exception blocks, var arrays, various loop structures and many more. This PLSQL code is natively supported by DB2 without any translation. As you can see, this code compiles just fine and now it can be run within DB2. CLP Plus provides compatibility for most SQL Plus options, so existing SQL Plus scripts can now run on DB2. In the following example, you can see how we can connect to a DB2 instance using SQL Plus syntax. After we load the SQL Plus script from a text file, add an additional line for debugging purposes, and run it in CLP Plus. This script compiles a PLSQL procedure and runs a query with easy to read formatting options. As you just saw, CLP Plus is a great tool to assist you in integrating SQL Plus scripts into DB2 effortlessly. The IBM Data Movement Tool is a free program that can reduce the time you need to complete your enablement project. First, it provides a simple and powerful way to move database schema definitions and table data from an Oracle to a DB2 database. The graphical interface helps you connect to an existing Oracle database and to a new DB2 database. With a few clicks, you can copy table, index, and view definitions along with table data into a DB2 database. The IBM Data Movement Tool is designed to handle movement of terabytes of data Behind the easy-to-use interface is a highly scalable parallel processing engine that ensures high performance. The data movement tool can also help you edit and deploy individual PLSQL objects such as packages, procedures, functions, and triggers. If individual PLSQL objects do not compile properly, you can easily make quick modifications and redeploy. The IBM Optum Development Studio has advanced features to run and debug PLSQL objects. In the following example, we will recompile the PLSQL procedure in debug mode. We'll set some breakpoints in the code to illustrate the native support for PLSQL. Afterwards, you can debug the procedure. PLSQL developers can also use the IBM Optum Development Studio to continuously develop and maintain their PLSQL code, so you can benefit from their existing skills with PLSQL when you move to a DB2 data server. In this video, we demonstrated how easy it is to move applications to a DB2 database that were previously locked into a specific non-IBM database vendor. IBM DB2 provides comprehensive support for PLSQL objects and SQL Plus scripts, 
and also has first-class tools to assist in migration and ongoing maintenance with a minimal investment in skills. For more information, see ibm.com dv2.